one of the key signifiers for me that I was interested in making pop music is I started wearing more pink eyeshadow. Before I'd go out, I would put pink eyeshadow on and then I was like, oh, suddenly I don't fit in this box of folk musician. And I was like, well, maybe I like pop music. But the real like indicator was this eyeshadow. And so then I started playing with more colors and for the first year of touring, did wear a lot of different pink and blue and, and red. And I still think that's really fun. I went to like three different Rickies because they didn't have like the pink I wanted. I started writing songs when I was 13. I actually started producing because I like couldn't play with the guys. Like I never felt included and I, there wasn't enough people for me to play with. So if I was producing my own music, then I could create the whole arrangement for myself. I could play suddenly with the MIDI keyboard, I could play the drum part and play the bass part. And then I could grow the way I was hearing my songs and make them sound more like the way they sounded in my head. Um, early demos of that record, um, I was making it in high school. I sent it to NYU. And then I went to NYU and studied music production in college. Then when I graduated, I just kept doing it. I graduated in June of 2016 and I signed a record contract in August. Being on stage is such an expression of yourself. And I think I have found that performance is best when you're as close to your present self as possible. I'm gonna let you in on a weird kind of selfish little secret, but it's all just for me. <laughs> <laughs> brought out stylistically a new side of myself because it's like I get to kind of play dress up all the time and that's super fun. There is all these like stigmas around like what does it say about you if you wear makeup or what does it say if you don't wear makeup and I think that's something that I've learned as an adult is that it just has to be fun. I actually really really love um, cloud paint, the Glossier stuff. I actually really like all so much of the Glossier makeup because it feels like dress up. It did, and like and the fact that it's called paint makes it feel like it makes it feel fun and I think that and also just like whimsical in this way of like there aren't rules it makes it feel playful which that feels exciting and feels good to me I use boy brow in blonde or sometimes in clear and I'll just put a little on but I, I, I really don't like too much because otherwise it it just like I don't know I want them to move Sometimes when I am on stage, I'll add a little bit of glitter and instead I'll use blue mascara. Whenever I wear this jacket, I feel like a little bit like a disco diva and that makes me always feel like I need a little bit of glitter anyway. So this one is? This is a Stila glitter and I've tried so many glitters to try and figure out what is the most glittery of them all. But this one actually like, there's nothing creamy about it. I used to use Vaseline um, and then put, apply glitter that way, but it always was ending up in my eyes and it was just like really hard and kind of painful to take off because it's kind of just like pieces of plastic. It's YSL. And that's, uh, yeah, that's kind of it. This is like a Kiehl's chapstick but it has a little bit of tint. It's called Pure Petal. And I wear this a whole lot 